Hey everybody, this is Kyle with Train Enable, where we help folks feel fit, happy, and confident through custom tailored workouts. Today, I wanted to answer a question on what is remote coaching? So a lot of times we see it referred to as customized programming, um, remote training, remote coaching, online coaching. So a quick definition as we define it here at Train Enable is remote coaching is where you get a personally tailored workout routine sent to you based around specifics like your goal, your past training experience, any injuries you have, the equipment you have available to you, how often you're going to work out per week and how long those workouts are. So if you've poked around on our website, which is linked below in the description, you've seen that we have a three step process into getting training with us through the remote coaching pathway. Step number one is to get in touch with us and tell us what some of those goals are. Step number two, we're gonna zoom in today because that's what this is. You download an app where you get all of your workouts and all of your instruction, including feedback um, on one given platform. So step number three would be complete the workouts, get feedback from your coach. So we utilize an app called True Coach and that's where, as previously stated, you're going to get all of your workouts. So when you first log in, this is what it looks like on the desktop. Most people use it from their phone. So it essentially looks exactly like this, except a condensed version. So bear that in mind. Um, when you're doing your training, you can use either your computer or your phone, whatever works best for you. So this is my personal profile. So when I first log in, it's almost as if training were meshed with a social media platform. So it's kind of like a timeline. So as I scroll, it shows all my upcoming workouts. In the top corner, you'll see um, our logo along with a couple other icons. So we're going to start here. So this is my general profile. It shows how many workouts I've completed, my name, and I can also put in a picture where it shows my initials there. You obviously know what I'm looking like because you see this video. Here's how we kind of start to build in some layers of accountability and those intangibles that we talk about in the blog post, what is remote coaching, which is also linked down below if you'd like to read further about that. And some of the intangibles that you're paying for and makes remote coaching worth it um, is having your goal known by your coach. So we can go into our goal portion here and we can upload whatever goal that is, be it gain muscle, um, lose fat, both, um, hit a certain weight on a certain lift, run a certain distance in a certain time, anything like that. We can input that here. Then we have metrics that are going to help us know whether or not we are getting closer to achieving that goal. So if our goal is to run a mile in under six minutes, uh, we better be tracking our mile times and our split times. That's kind of one of the metrics that we would use to make sure that you're staying on track. Um, if you are a visual person as most of us humans are it would be useful for you to upload your progress photos so that way not only you can see them for yourself but also your coach is making sure that you are um, being composed in the right way last but not least and probably arguably one of the more important factors as a lot of us are still stuck at home is what equipment do you have available to you i don't want to program something for you that you're unable to complete because let's say you don't have a barbell at home or a squat rack at home or your gym doesn't have that machine. So we put in any special equipment considerations here. So that's kind of our standard profile view. So what you can do here is on the next one, you can ask your coach directly through the app any questions you have about training or even just relay information like, hey coach, my shoulder's hurting today and I have bench press coming up, what should I do? Or how many sets am I supposed to do? Any of those questions, you don't even have to navigate away from the app to your email or to your text messages to get in touch with your coach. Same thing, you can pull up past chat history um, through the little text icons that you see. And last but not least, uh, we come back to what you see when you initially log in, and that is your list of workouts. So you can see the upcoming, but also the past workouts. So. Let's take a deeper dive into a specific workout. So this is my workout for today. As always, you'll have a warm up written for you. So that way we ensure that the right body parts are getting moving before we start asking anything from it. 
if there's anything that we think you might not know, we will put a video link um, so you can check out the movement in play. Then you have your exercise A, B, C, etc. So here you'll see complete three sets of eight to 12 reps with zero reps in reserve. Rest between sets until you no longer feel winded or burning in the muscle. Take a few warm up sets prior to your working sets. And this is the important part when we talk about feedback. Record weights used for all sets and video your last set. So here I can type into the results section, 5,000 pounds because I am extremely strong. But more importantly than logging your weights is for you to use this camera icon and it'll give you two options when you click on the camera. You can either upload a video that you've already recorded or better yet, you can record straight from the app without having to navigate away. Again, we're always trying to keep everything within the same app so that way it is as seamless as possible. So once you've done your exercise, logged your results, taken your video, coach will be able to see all the stuff that you're doing. But even before then, if you see a movement that's newer and you're like, hmm, I'm not sure what this looks like, what you can do is click on demo video. And now there's a detailed description of the movement itself, as well as a demo video. So as it pulls up, you'll see an athlete completing um, the movement that you are set to do. Even more important than that is your past history and performance with that specific movement. So if you're unsure what you did the last time you did the back squat, right under that is view exercise history. So I can click on that. Now it's going to pull up all the workouts I've done in the past where I've uploaded results for the back squat. So that way I know that I'm not biting off more than I can chew. And I can also track that progress in the long run. So once I've completed that, you'll see that this empty green check mark, I'm sorry, empty check mark turns from empty or gray to green, showing that I've completed the work. Then I'll move on to my next, then the next, then the next. And then when I've completed all the exercises or um, I've sufficiently taxed myself, I'll click finish workout and I can even add more notes at the bottom. Um, this was a very challenging workout felt a little strange twinge in my knee, etc. As soon as you finish your workout and leave those comments, upload videos, your coach is going to be notified right away. The way that we do it here is your feedback will always be given to you in video format. That way we can give you a virtual high five, note on all the things that you're doing well, and then physically show you over video some of the form improvements we can make, talk about some of the approaches we can take to have a more fruitful workout. So hopefully we cleared up some of the kind of speculation about what remote coaching is and more specifically what it looks like. Remember, this is step two of our three step process. Step one, meet with us, tell us your goals. Let's learn about each other. Step two is download the app to get your workouts. Step three is complete the workouts, get feedback from coach. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us on Instagram, Facebook. Um, we are also available by email or reach out on the website. We have a little chat bubble there for you to log into. But as always, thanks for showing up. I hope you learned something in this video. And if you found value, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys on the next one.